Welcome back to Sports Massage Therapy Education. In today's video, we're going to cover the essential bony landmarks, the key ligaments, and the major tendons of the knee. So whether you're preparing for a level four assessment or you just need to sharpen your accuracy, I've got you covered in today's video. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the bony landmarks and also the ligaments of the knee itself. So as always, you've got to remember you're gonna do your active, your passive, and your resisted tests with the client because they're obviously gonna be able to indicate potentially what is wrong. But in today's video, we're just focusing on those bony landmarks and the structure of the knee itself. Okay, we're gonna start off by looking at the lateral side of the, the knee joint itself here. So we have up here, so when you kind of get in, what you wanna do is feel around the client and you're gonna feel just where this line is, there's going to be that curve there. So that's gonna be the lateral femoral epicondyle and then just inside of that, the actual surface bit here, that's gonna be the lateral femoral condyle. As you start to look just over here now, what you're going to notice is you've got the head of the fibula and as you kind of fill in, you're gonna be able to feel that little lump there, which is going to be that head of the fibula just on the side and obviously it's gonna progress all the way down now. Okay, looking from an anterior point of view now, what you're going to have is the actual patella itself, which we split into two parts. So we've got the superior pole of the patella, which you'll be able to feel just on the top. And then just below there, you're going to have the inferior pole of the patella. The patella itself is going to be encompassed within the patella tendon itself. And then just below, that patella tendon starts to kind of diminish just at the bottom here. You're gonna to start to fill in. This is going to be the tibial tuberosity. Okay, lastly now, looking from a medial point of view, so from a bony landmark point of view now, we have the medial femoral epicondyle. So again, as you're kind of feeling around, it's going to be where you feel that little curve just within here. And then again, just coming over a little bit from there is going to be the medial femoral condyle. Okay, looking from a ligament perspective now. So just over here where we've got that medial femoral epicondyle, coming just a little bit inside of that now, we're going to start to see the actual ligaments, which is going to be the medial collateral ligament. Just coming in here, you have also got, just coming through the medial plateau, so kind of that line running through, which obviously separates where the two bones are gonna be connecting, you have got the meniscus just sitting internally in there as well. So I'll do that just kind of with some dotted lines, you're gonna have that meniscus running through that center. Okay, looking anterior now, I just wanna kind of highlight where that patella tendon is now. So it's gonna to start to come down from around here. This is going to be running just up and then it's also going to run itself just across there as well. So this is obviously going to be where the patella tendon sits. So again, it's something that obviously we're going to be able to feel around, notice if there's any kind of problems within that area there as well. Okay, just looking laterally now, obviously where that meniscus is gonna kind of run through that center there, obviously we have got the lateral meniscus. But the main one I wanted to show you here is the lateral collateral ligament that comes all the way down to the head of the fibula and comes up to the lateral femoral epicondyle just through here. Okay, two other ligaments that we just need to be aware of in sports massage, which are gonna be very hard to palpate, but you will need to be aware of because they're very common injuries within sports is your ACL and your PCL. So you've got the anterior cruciate ligament and the posterior cruciate ligament, which are both gonna sit behind the patella here and they almost kind of cross each other. So it's just two ligaments that you're gonna to wanna to be aware of and just make sure you understand their function because if there is an injury to those as well, it may be that you're not able to do anything and it's going to be a medical referral. Okay, last thing I want to kind of discuss here, and just for a little bit of reference, is some of the main bursas that we have in this area. So we have the suprapatellar bursa. So this is located superior of the patella, so just above the patella here, and it's between the femur and the quadricep tendon. So you're gonna find it's just around this area here. So you've got the pre-patellar bursa as well. So this is located on the anterior surface of the patella. So patella being just here and on this outer surface, but it's also gonna be between the patella and the skin. So it's gonna be just located up here. 
to obviously separate those two areas. You've then got the deep infrapatellar bursa. So this is located inferior to the patella. So you've got the patella here. So inferior meaning just below the patella. And it's going to be between the tibia and the patella tendon. So the patella tendon being here, and obviously the tibia bone, it's going to sit between the two. And then finally now, the superficial infrapatellar bursa. So this is located inferior to the patella. So again, patella here being inferior, but between the patella tendon and the skin now, okay? So these are just four of the main bursas that can be useful to know in sports massage. That is going to be a wrap on today's video on the knee. So just remember, always do your active test with the client. You also want to remember you're gonna do your passive tests as well. And then you're going to do your resisted tests where they apply pressure down against you. And as always, if you have liked the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.